Hi y'all, I would like to explain why I'm not playing Planetside that much right now. And, this is mostly just going to be a video of me complaining. And, this central complaint is Connery's population. Honestly, if this game does not turn around soon, it is real time for a server merger. I've been saving for years now that Connery is in need of a merger with Emerald, and I'm basically going to explain why, and try and explain why I think that merging servers is a sign the game is dying, it's kind of a bullshit reason not to. So, for example, it is currently 11.24pm uh, 11 .24 PM on Connery server time right now. It is currently Hassan. For some reason, it is a full Condon, and there are really... Honestly, there's really one fight. It's at Hassan Biochem. There's a Zerg at Zot's Bio that can hardly be described as a Zerg, given it's only 24 players, and outside of that, it is 1 to 12s. First questions first. Why is the full map open? There are 190 players on Connery right now. I checked. Why is the full map open at 190 players? This ensures that there will be maybe one decent fight, which is Hassan Biochem. And if you are not NC or TR, you have nothing. If you are Vanu, you have no fights right now. Uh, you get to roll with the Zerg at Zots. Uh, you basically get to play 1 to 12 caps along a massive border that nobody's actually going to have any fun doing because you're just going to stare at the spawn room or stand on the capture point until the base flips. This is not fun in gameplay, this is not engaging gameplay, this is not what Planicide is. Even as much as I shit on combined arms, this is fucking boring, as even, even as an infantry player. These are just not fun fights. Why would you log in to play these? Why I like? Why would I log in and play the game when I have tiny-ass fights on a dead server? Now, let's do some comparing and contrasting. And I'm actually going to stay on Connor because I'm just going to bitch for a moment here. Emerald has 256 players right now. It is 2.36 in the morning Emerald server time, yet they have 70 more players than we do. I checked. So, here's a question for you. If Connery is closer to its prime time than Emerald, and Emerald is significantly past its prime time, I mean it's 2.36 in the morning on a fucking Monday for Emerald players, on average, why do they have more population than Connery, which is closer to its prime time. Granted, it is also Sunday night here, but still, why do we have more, or why do we have significantly less players when we're significantly closer to our prime time? Also, lately, Connor has been peaking probably 300 to 400 on most weekdays. Uh, I think the high point I've seen is maybe like 550 on Friday night, maybe. And Simply put, these are not enough players to have fun fights most of the time. They are workable. Sure, they are workable. I will not say that they are not impossible to play in. But a lot of the times there's two good fights, maybe, um, on the whole map. Um, and other than that, it's usually just Zergs or Ghost Caps. And honestly, I believe this is a lot due to the unstable lattice system. Um, or rather, the lack thereof. And I'm going to take a moment to pitch about that too. Because... This is my suggestion to save Connery, or at least make it more enjoyable to play on, before we go to my second opinion, uh, which is just merge the two fucking servers already. So, the unstable lattice, first of all, why can't continents close down? Uh, as time goes on, obviously population will fall. You know, as you get through prime time and into the late night in the morning, population will fall. So, why can't a continent close down? None of the fights that are actually going on right now are on middle lattices, aka the ones that usually get shut off. The two fights, or rather, one fight that's going on right now, is on Hassan Biochem, which is placed on what is considered a mid-tier unstable lane, if you will, where, you know, you have the central lane open up and the side lanes. But why is the full map open when we have less than 200 players online? Uh, it basically just leads to a bunch of players being spread out all across the map, meaning for tiny 1-12 to 12 fights or just straight-up ghost caps, and one actual fight that if you're on Vanu, good fucking luck having fun for the evening. But if we at least close the map, and then you could at least funnel players. It doesn't need to be fucking cold here, because that was its own level of hell. But why can't we just be unstable? I know it's fucking nascent, whatever. It's still a lot better at least having pop. There are still 190 players on the server. It would still be a decent size three-way. It'd be about 75 players aside at Nasus. As long as critters don't go kill the spawns, but that's a separate issue entirely. Point is, that's not even a 96 plus on all sides fight. And that would be just with the middle base open. 
I could see a very light argument being made to have at least a side lanes open, but still that could fall into the same issue where you have one good fight on one side, then the other sides are just dead. So here's a proposal. For Connery specifically, uh, I will not admit to know the other server situations because I do not primarily play on the other servers. Emerald is where my TR aim alt goes when I need to work on my aim. Um, for Connery specifically, why isn't there a hard limit where if the server is below 250 players, you are locked to small unstable, the middle base. And if the server goes above 250 and maybe up to 500, you have the middle unstable, quote unquote, where the side lanes are open as well. And then after that, obviously, you can have a full con and open because there's actually enough players to justify doing that. And why can't we make Conans close down? I already brought this up earlier, but seriously, like, if we had enough players at one point to have full Hassan open, that's great. But now that we have nobody on, we have a full map open that there has no fights, which makes people like me, who log in maybe outside of prime time because I feel like playing Planicide, look at the map and go... What's the fucking point? There are no fights. The one fight that does exist uh, is for NC or TR. And while I could NSO to TR right now, if I wanted to play Vanu, what am I meant to do here? I know you could just say, oh, just go switch into the other faction. But tell me this. Is a three-way game that is focused on large battles and combined arms fights, is it a really good game design if you need to log on to a different faction to experience the one fight on the map? There are even Vanu players at Haas and Biochem now who are probably just looking to have something to do. Like, at the very least, unstable up Connor. Like, there's no there's no reason for there to be the whole map open right now. At minimum, I could see three uh, a mid-tier unstable being open with the middle and the side lanes. And preferably, I would like to see just the middle lane open. Like, I don't want to play the game when the map looks like this. There's no fights, and if this fight dies, well, there are good odds that either another one's not going to start, and you're going to be like stuck with just shitty 1 to 12s the whole night because the one fight that had flow died, or you know it's going to move to say a TRVS fight. Now NC are fucked for God knows how long. Why would I play this? I'm not saying that small fights can't be fun. I'm saying that on the whole, they're not enjoyable. They can have their moments, for sure, but do you really log into Planetside to play a 2v2, a 6v6, outside of scrims that take place at one base? Ask me this. So, the other option, uh, outside of just making the unstable, be, making continents able to close down and reducing, uh, or rather increasing the pop thresholds you need to open up the map, specifically on Connery, but I do think that allowing continents to close down to unstable states would just be a benefit for the game as a whole in off hours. Uh, and then option two is literally just fucking merge. Like, Connery at this point, most of Connery's player base has already left for Emerald. Because Connery has had server problems, Connery has had dead problems like this, where people see Emerald, and Emerald's peaking like, say, 1200 a night, and we're peaking like 500 on like Friday nights, which is like the most popular night. And Emerald just has better pop all around. Like, seriously, it's fucking 2.32 in the morning on Emerald time, and they currently have 243 players. I checked. And it's way later into the night, and they have more players than we do. Like, why would you play on Connery? If you're living in the States, or in North America in general, you probably have still tolerable ping to Emerald, uh, I'm on, I'm about as West Coast Canadian as it gets, and I have pretty decent internet, and I rock 90, 90 ping there, and I rock like 20 ping to Connery. 90 ping is not, like, that bad. <laughs> I mean, if you're over, like, 150 ping, I get it, I do, but point is, you sh if, if you have decent ping to Emerald, <laughs> why, like, most people are just going to play Emerald instead. Most people just moved off Connery, because Connery's not fun to play on anymore with this population, and... When you can only play primetime on, like, Fridays to actually have a real planetside experience, quote-unquote. Why would you fucking play the server and not just play Emerald? <laughs> like, just merge them already. Fuck, have a have a server smash to determine who gets to keep the name. Because then at least the long-standing Connery players can laugh at Emerald when the final server gets named fucking Connery, which would be pretty damn funny. Um, or just 
like merge the servers. Fuck, just make it all emerald. Uh, I don't claim to know what the situation is like for other servers. I'm mostly just talking about why I don't play because all my characters are on Connery. And to those people who say, "Oh, just make a new character on an, on on Emerald," sure, but riddle me this: Why would I want to regrind a Vanu and an NSO character that I've already played for hundreds of hours, uh, both of which are through uh, my NSOs in at ASP two sixty uh, eight, my Vanu's at ASP one eighty two, and both characters, specifically my NSO character, have content that can no longer be obtained. Content that I take fair pride in holding. Like, for example, my NSO, the Araxi Miramasa, that is no longer obtainable, and I was the tenth and final player to get it. Or the Araxium Kappa. Or on Vanu, the Araxium Slasher, that hasn't come back as a Halloween reward since 2016, if memory serve. Or just being attached to this character, because this is a character I've been playing on for the last four years, and my Vanu character seven years. Why would I just want to regrind all this again for con like when I just can't re when I can't unlock some of the stuff I have on these characters, and the time I've spent on these characters? Fuck! At least allow me to server or merge the character over. And if you're saying just play an NC or TR alt on Emerald, I have, but I don't have any attachment to those characters because I don't feel connected to Emerald in any way, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Don't you can call me a bitch all you want, but my NSO character is the character I enjoy playing the most. I like working, I like the idea of completing a character, quote-unquote. I want to play my NSO character, and I want to play on Connery, but it's really hard to justify playing on Connery when the pop is like this, and as a result, I don't want to log into the game. It's that simple. Connery is not fun to play with the level of population that it sustains 95% of the time, if not more, so why would I log in? If I'm not having fun playing the game, why would I log in? And I fear that this is probably a problem for a lot of Connery players lately as well. Um, Connery's taken a fairly substantial population dive in the last month. And whether this is due to the construction system uh, overhaul, whether this is due to the game just being in a slump, whether this is due to raw leaving, I will not pretend to know. Uh, what I will pretend to know is that my opinion will at least help the game in some regard. Um, at the very least making continents close down as pop gets lower and quote-unquote forcing fights at the very least will make the game more fun to play in the off hours because i sure as shit would rather play an unbalanced three-way with nine it was say 70 players aside in it than play the one fucking 24 to 48 on the map and get fucked if you're not on uh nc or tr right now for example i I think it's really as simple as that. This video is basically just turned into a ramble at this point, but I feel like I need to offer some explanation as to why I've not been playing Planicide. And this is pretty much it. Um, I, I really do love this game. Uh, I know I shit on it a lot, and I know that uh, it seems like I hate it. I bitch a lot, and I sure do. But, like, I've spent fucking... Hold up, let's see. I have spent 2,600 hours of my life playing Planicide. I have been playing this game since I was 11. I am now nearly 19. Make of that what you will. I like this game a lot. I like what it is, I like the core gameplay a lot, and I really like Planetside. Uh, it's left a very large impact on my life. Um, I've met a lot of great people through it, most of which I've rather soured my relations with uh, due to my own faults and my own failures, but that's besides the point. For all I appear to hate Planetside, and I sure do hate Planetside from time to time, I do want this game to succeed. I like playing Planicide when it's fun to play. And when Connery is like this, it's not fun to play, why would I log in? It's as simple as that. That's why I've not been playing lately. That's why there's been really no real Planicide content lately other than here's the event directive. Because I logged in, I banged out the event directive, and I've had no desire to boot the game up again. Because, yeah, there's directives to grind, but if the fights and grinds to get them aren't fun, what's the fucking point, dude? It's that simple. Uh, if you've been listening through this whole way through, uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, if you've not, thanks, I guess. Um, I hope that this is at least a sufficient explanation for why I've not been playing, and at least what I think could be done to, at the very least, make Connery more fun to play on. Or, like, just fucking merge the two already. I know no developer is watching this video, but at the very least, I can air my thoughts out for someone. Um someone emphasis and get at least some content out
Um, I know I've not been making content on other games. I've been playing a lot of Warships recently. I've been playing a lot of Siege recently. Um, and I haven't actually been doing a whole lot else. Uh, I've had no real drive to make content. And that kind of fucking sucks. But that's a whole discussion for another video that I will probably not end up making and instead wallow in pity. Anyway, uh, rant aside. Thanks all. I need to go make a boring thumbnail for this. And uh, I'll see you in the comments section.